We have a very special episode for you today. Yes, have you ever tried a black and tan? You probably have, and if you haven't, okay, well, this is not actually a black and tan. This is a, a variety pack that we bought, and they want us to mix our own beers. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, high fives. 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 So if you can tell by the intro, we're we're excited about this. So, yes. So th this is um, uh, where, where am I supposed to read? Which one uh, are you doing? So here? we're doing. Let me see. So we are doing. Uh, oh. oh yeah, so we're doing the Abbey. So this is from uh, New Belgium. <laughs> I mixed it up. This is from New Belgium. We're trying their Abbey L and their Cellar Blend from this pack. All right. So, so William is going to. So here's what it looks like. So in, in the variety pack, we got an Abbey L. So here's this one. Yeah, Bam. And also in that variety pack was this uh, cellar one. Bam! There's that one. And here's what the bottle cap looks like. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's the, yeah, it's, since it's New Belgium, you got the, your, your, yeah. your, uh, your, your, your bicycle on there. Yeah. So that looks pretty cool. So William is going to create for us this little setup here. So it is um, the Ted Peterson says hails from New York and has brewed at New Belgium for six years. He's, he spends his time these days working with and learning from people he admires, often in New Belgium's wood cellar, where he sings songs to the oak barrels while <laughs> trying, trying to fix them with hand tools when they leak. So uh, apparently this is a very hands-on operation. Very loved so, beer. I like that Abby <laughs> adds body and some <laughs> fresh malt and sweetness, but the sour carries through enough to bring a quenching light pucker and some subtle complexity. So what we're doing here is we're taking the Abby, half of a bottle of Abby, and half of a bottle of the Cellar Blender. So these two together is going to make a new flavor force, kind of like a black and tan, where you take uh, your favorite, uh, uh, say, say English uh, pilsner or something yep. like that, and then and, and then a, a fine porter. You mix those together and you get a black and tan. So this one's not a black and tan, but it's called a spare room. So part of it is Abbey, and part of it is a cellar blender from 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 New Belgium. So that's what we're gonna try. So William is, is putting these together for us, and we're going to. Oh wow! Look at that. So we, we, we poured them into some snifter glasses because these these are higher octane um, beers. So it's like Ab Abbey's are what like seven point something um, uh, alcohol they're going. Let me look at the Abbey bottle. Here. Yeah, go ahead and look at the Abbey and see what the alcohol so, is. So, um, <laughs> this so they're seven. So alcohol by volume is seven percent on a, on an Abbey. And uh, what do you got on one of the Cellar. Cellars. There yeah. should be there should be another cellar there. I got a cellar here? Yeah. Okay, so a cellar here is 7.5. They're even stronger. And uh, so it's a, but the cellar blender. Now, what we're pouring here is a sour ale on the blender. And that regular Abbey is not. A Bel it's a Belgian style um, du double. So an Abbey is a double. And so these two together is going to create with this guy who's been who, uh, uh, Messed with this says I've been I've been my go-to shift beer at, it's been my go-to shift beer after working overnight uh, triple oh wait, 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 wait. sorry sorry <laughs> wrong side <laughs> so he, I, he says I like that 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 Abby adds body oh, and some fresh malts and sweetness but the sour carries through enough to bring a quenching light pucker pour <laughs> yeah. Wow. So it's, it's, Dude, I'm serious, I'm going, I'm going six ounces here. <laughs> it's not more. It's, it's like a look. head, a head No, it's not. Look. Look at that. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty much the same thing. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, man. <laughs> I'm pouring with a freaking... <laughs> yeah, you know what? This thing's still... Yeah. Okay, just shut it. Ooh. We'll let you do the well, next blend. How about that? Oh, okay. uh, man. You smell that? That's going to be so good. It's gonna knock us the. <clears throat> this is our uh, how many today? <laughs> uh, 
Quite a few. I'm yeah, feeling. I'm feeling yeah, just I'm feeling fine. Like, I'm not. Feeling, I'm not like overly feeling, drunk or nothing. So. Yeah. yeah no, I don't. I don't feel. Uh, it's nice. Good. So, Why? So. <laughs> see, it looks like it's more, but it's not. <laughs> it is pretty much. This is the first so, one we did. So, so we got half an Abbey and half of this sour beer, which is a cellar blend. And we still got like uh, half of an Abbey and half of a cellar right now ready to go. So we can make another one if we want. If we really yeah. enjoy this, we can make another one. Yeah, because it, it took four yeah. bottles all together yeah. to make the, the three. Yeah. I got so, a little bit of a mess going on, but hey, whatever. <laughs> all right. So what do you get for a smell, right, guys? Smell it. I, Very interesting. That, <laughs> I get a Belgian <laughs> smell, though. I get a real oh, yeah. um, um, Belgian-style yeah. um, um, ale going on with the I yeast. Can, I can smell that uh, sourness in the cellar blend to it. Yeah, the sour. I, get, I, really get, I don't get the sour, but I get that familiar yeast from Belgian beers. Yeah. I like the Abbey. Mm -hmm. I think that really goes through. Yeah. Because um, Abbey triples don't smell like that. They... they they, they taste a certain way and everything, but they don't smell like that regular happy. So this is gonna be good. This is gonna have a, a nice yeah. body to it, and I hope that I get a little sour. I like, I like certain sour beers. Yeah. So maybe this I'm, is gonna. I'm still that. trying to build up my taste bud on the sours, but. Yeah. The, the, um, <laughs> I, I I don't want to drink them all the time, but once in a while, because yeah. it's a weekend kind of a yeah. thing, it's like uh, let's do a sour. So this is gonna be great. So it won't be right. that sour. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's give it a Those shot. Guys. So who is this guy that did this? Um, the guy that was ten. putting this together is... Um, put the glasses back ten. on. So, so ten. Ted. Ten. Thank you, Ted. Yep, good ten. idea. Let's ten. go ahead and uh, let's go ahead give this a shot. Okay. Mm, I get the sour. Oh, wow. That wow. is, a, But that's a pleasant sour. Yeah. It's like sour that is right from like one biting into one of the apples that are sour. Yeah. You know what? I had, I think I've had that sour one by itself before. And it did? was so sour. This is actually like... Yeah. Compliments. Yeah. yeah. Miles. Very yeah. mild. Yeah. yeah. Like I can drink it and not be like yeah, annoyed it's that it's sour. Yeah. Chris and I actually right? had this back before. We did have the yeah. sour. And it was very... The sour was... Ugh, it was there. Super yeah. sour. It was there. This has definitely mellowed it down. Okay. Very cool. good yeah. idea. Yeah, well, I'm <clears throat> I'm appreciating the taste of it. Yeah. Sure. Mm. It's not all the time that I drink sour beers, too. So it's definitely different. Yeah, it's kind of... Me too. I don't drink these often. Yeah, because we usually drink the IPAs and yeah, hoppy beers, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. This is a whole, whole nother beer. Well, it's kind of fun <laughs> to, to, to have something, like I said, just one weekend, you know, drink it's something kind of, it's yeah. kind of fun. And a, a sour beer is, is pretty good. So, so mix with the Abbey... The Abbey is not all Abbey, and then the Sour is not all Sour. Yeah. This is a cool because you get a cool mix. Half of each. Really, really nice. So they give you this the, little packet. Here's a Sour. Mm -hmm. okay. Just all by itself? So yeah, Sour by itself. So just smell it. Don't drink it. So, so yeah, so they give you this little packet to make all these combinations of the beers that, that come in the in the variety. The bread. The variety pack. So there's some that are like two-thirds yeah. of this and one-third yeah. of another. Yeah. Really, really cool. Yeah, they um, okay. Yeah, yeah, this. This is the pretty idea. much all the beers they put inside that pack. What is that? What is that? So Blend your own brew or something like that is what they call it. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So and then yeah, that's the a, yeah, paired with. Yeah. So this is the, the oh sour, no, that's the sour. sour one. This is the, what the sour smells like. So see how it's really different. Oh yeah, you can really get the sour yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. So, it's like like uh, okay. fermented. And then I smell that one. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can definitely smell the sour. I can smell that in there now. Yeah, but it's more mellow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Really delicious, guys. Let's try it with some Snyder's. Or salty snacks, whichever you have. I really suggest salty that when you, if you get this variety pack, let me, have, have we show them what the variety pack looks like? We just take you know a what? picture of it. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah. I'll show you. What. So the variety pack has all these beers in it from, from uh, New Belgium. It includes Fat Tire. Thank you. And uh, that way, um, you can take the little pamphlet that comes with it, and you can make these beers too. So it's really, really cool. Yeah, they have all sorts of mix and match. You know, like Fat Tire, Belgian White, and a Triple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 1554 Cellar Blender. Yeah. You know, another sour with the... Unfortunately, this is all the sellers that we got, so, so we can't try that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, definitely give this a try, guys. Yeah. They have a... <laughs> that's, their, that's their gimmick. They yeah. make you buy multiple packs of them. <laughs> <laughs> Good, see good, what planning. You're doing. good see planning. Good planning. Yeah. Hey, but you know, that's really cool because that way uh, one variety pack equals like, you know, instead of just 12 different beers, it equals, or, or like four different beers, it could be like eight different beers or even more because you mix them up. It doesn't yeah. get boring, yeah. too. Yeah. Keep going. 
Yeah, make it fun. Take, an, take an Abbey Triple, mix it with this, and then, you know, you know you get all these beers out of it. So, oh, how fun. So I tried it with a salty pretzel. It didn't really change a whole lot. Uh, the sour brought out a lot more. Because the sour is just bit. totally different, so it kind of bit. brings out... For me, it kind of went the other way. For me, uh, yeah. The sour, I, I noticed it, but it's not strong. Mm. Now I taste the Abbey more. It's a delicious smell to it, though. Mm -hmm. Make sure, like, if you can, try and get like a snifter glass or something like that, because then you can. Good smell, it. Oh, it smells so smelling. It smells delicious. I think I'm just in the mood for the uh, different taste in a beer, so the sour is kind of going with me right now, because I'm, I'm ready for that new something new. And uh, I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah. That was definitely interesting. Do you think we should slam this? I mean, there's not really a point to it. No, just a whole factor no. of doing it. We we just did it. Yeah. Exactly. So so I'll you, slam it just for the factor. Okay. okay you, you, okay, you do it. Then. At least someone will. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, which someone? <laughs> someone will. Someone will do it. Yeah. yeah. Do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's recording. So yeah. William's going to go. Right, he's going to slam it. It's not. It's not recommended. But you know, if you want to, here's what will happen. I want to do it. <laughs> you can do it, Tommy. You can do it! Yeah. Just play I of the Tiger song. I of the Tiger. It's got some. It wasn't. I, did, I tasted a lot of the um, cellar. Yeah? The cellar and the sourness. So the sour is more prevalent. Yeah. yeah. And of course, I know they have like a special blender for black and tans. Um, yeah. They have like a little device in here, so when you pour them, they mix a lot better. This was just poured. Yeah, like, mediocre. Yeah, it was just poured like the best we can pour it. Sure. Yeah. So, but I definitely taste a lot of sour when I when I down this. Okay. So um, it, it's not um, necessarily um, scientifically proven, but, but not necessarily better yeah. to slam it to get I better think, taste. I think if because I think for something like this, it's best just to chill. Do you think you were yeah. getting the same amount of sour taste mm -hmm. from just sipping yep. it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, it's it was the same. It, so so it for scientific purposes, uh, William did it. So it doesn't make it better just to slam it to get a better taste. Yeah. You can. Enjoy, it's the same if you just enjoy the glass for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. All right, so I would give this for me. I would, I would give this a thumbs up. I'm enjoying the crap out of it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, both beers. I already had the Abbey before. It was delicious. I believe we did a review on it. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, the cellar. Yeah, I we, think we did the triple too. But yeah, we haven't done that. Yet. Uh, the cellar. We tried it. We didn't do a review, but I tasted it. I'm still trying to get used to my sours. <laughs> both of them together. It was a fun experience. I enjoyed it. Big old. Thumbs up. Big thumbs up. So, That's two lot. thumbs up. What do you think, Cody? I think it's a thumbs up. I think um, mixing it together really milds that sour down because uh, I had that sour before and it was really a lot of sour. Yeah. So uh, I prefer this. This is really good. So I give it a thumbs up. Cool. That's another cool thing, too. It's like some people, yeah. they want that sour, yeah. but that yeah. amount. And, but we also have the ability to tone it down, which yeah. is awesome. And so, so, so turning it down with an Abbey yeah. is a really, really good idea. So, so cool. I wouldn't mind turning it down with like so, a triple. So yeah, especially. Three, three thumbs you. up for all of us. And so thanks for joining us on this Give It A Shot for this this, this variety pack uh, little thing. We've never done this before. Kind of new. Yep. So yeah. thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to check the uh, down in the description because we've got the mixed and stored by some merch. we got the Patreon page to help us out to keep the channel going. And uh, well, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell Please for notifications. Please subscribe. Yeah. Like that button. <laughs> subscribe. I'll like you guys if you like. Like us. Okay, don't be creepy. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> well, I thanks tried. for watching this episode of Give Shot, and we'll see you next time. Woo! Later. High fives! 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 High